is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and here at ABC2, we're committed to helping you know everything you need to know about breast cancer. we got our phone lines open next door. The number to call is 410-481-2222. But we're joined now by Dr. Shweta Kurian. She's a medical oncologist and hematologist at MedStar Franklin Square. Doctor, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. We're hearing so much about targeted therapy. Tell us what it is. So targeted therapy, as the name sounds, is finding a target on the cancer cell and directing your therapy so we only affect the cancer cells and try to spare other cells in your body. So in terms of breast cancer, you look for special proteins which are present on the surface of the tumor cells. The one we actively look for is HER2 mm -hmm. to a protein. It's called HER2 because it's human epidermal growth receptor 2, which is a protein that happens if you have excess or special proto-oncogene new and that makes this excess of protein. It's tested by using certain uh, proteins that bind onto these receptors. And once the tumor cells are found to have excessive of this protein, you can actually target the cancer cells using specific medications. Now these medications are newer medications which have been recently used for breast cancer. Uh, one of them is Herceptin, mm -hmm. which is also called Trastuzumab which acts on this particular receptor. The other medication which has recently been approved is Progetta or Pertuzumab. Mm -hmm. uh, these are very, very effective treatments. The tumors, when they initially used to have these receptors, uh, were considered to be poor prognosis because they were more aggressive mm -hmm. and uh, used to recur more frequently. With the advent of these newer treatments, the yes. prognosis has improved for these tumors and uh, the specifically for the tumors which have this uh, receptor. So kind of zoom right in on it. So what, what kind of patients would benefit from this type of so therapy? You, all the patients who have breast cancer are tested, their tumor is tested if they have the HER2 positive tumor. Of all the breast cancer, about 20 to 30 percent of the patients will have the specific tumor receptor and we can use this medication for them, uh, both in patients where we are giving them for curative intent and also patients in metastatic setting. Side effects, are they similar to like a conventional therapeutic uh, treatment? And that's the best part of targeted therapy. Because you're targeting at tumor cells which have these specific re receptors, you tend to spare the normal body cells. So they don't have the conventional side effects from the other chemotherapy, like where your blood counts drop, your hair falls. Mm -hmm. It oh, doesn't wow. happen that way. But it does have its own side effects, which are different. So for Herceptin and Progetta, you have to monitor the cardiac function or heart function okay. because certain patients develop heart failure. Right. with continued use. So every three months we have to monitor their heart function using MAGA scan or an echocardiogram. But overall it is much better tolerated. We've come a long way. Yes, we have. Alright, Dr. Curie, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Alright, we're still taking your calls next door. Jamie, that number is 410-481-2222. Alright, Kelly, Dr.